the bug, nibbling away on the rotting carcass of a once free Britain. Yum, yum. Hello, Resistance fans. You're listening to the Bug Podcast, the objective voice of objection for this most objectionable world. I am Andy, not my real name, so good luck finding me, Monsieur Bloom. My real name is, in fact, Andrew, uh, and I live in, note this down, a deluded pseudo-reality of my own making, which is, in fact, <laughs> the most densely populated place on Earth these days. Overcrowded, some might say. Joining me, as always, my next-door neighbour in these netherlands of nonsense, it's Alice. Yes, indeed, it is Alice. Alice, who the bleep is Alice? I am not going to tell you that. But <laughs> you can just sort of sense it from the timbre of my voice. <laughs> uh, let's spin the wheel and find out where we're getting today's news from... It's coming, it's coming from here. I must get a new wheel with at least one other place on it. And the headline <laughs> today, Alice, our borders are safe. We can all sleep easy in our well-bordered beds. 4,000 illegals were deported last month. These illegal people breaking the law just by existing. And, of course, illegality is contagious. It can osmose through your skin just by standing next to an illegal person. So uh, we've got rid of 4,000 of them. My question for you, Alice, is why only 4,000? Is that really enough? I will not feel safe until at least another 75 million people have been deported from this country, and I'm here in Britain on my own. (laughs) As a bleeding heart lefty, Andy, I would normally be outraged about this, but really, I think mass deportation is a very handy way to break up with a partner. I'm sorry, baby, I love you, but an anonymous source has reported you for snoring really loudly in a French way. (laughs) So everyone out, no exceptions, Alice, not even you. It's for the good of the country. Everyone out. Unless you can prove that your family are in the background on the Bayer Tapestry cheering on King Harold at the Battle of Hastings in 1066. Get out! Actually, that's not British enough. Unless you can show, unarguably, that your direct bloodline is untainted by anything since before the Romans. Uh, actually, it's that. Unless your direct ancestor was personally responsible for building Stonehenge, get out of my country. I guess when you look at it, you know, the best ways to stop immigration, apart from, uh, obviously, the uh, end of the world, to make the place you want to stop people coming to as unpleasant as possible, so... Uh, well, we absolutely are doing that, Andy. Well, you know, fair play to the government for, for, for helping us with that. Uh, another option, extend the white cliffs of Dover. They've been resting on their laurels for too long. Very inefficient, it turns out, as a means of stopping immigration. We need to extend them by about another 11,000 miles, a full wrap around... Great Britain, and they could do with be being about a kilometre and a half higher as well, with a special greasy coating to stop people clambering over the top or however they get in. Uh, here's a quick joke for you, Alice, about immigration. <laughs> Did you hear the one about the woman who went into the immigration processing centre and was ever seen again? No, Andy, I didn't hear that one. Boom. Set up punchline. <laughs> Classic. For those of you uh, unfamiliar with it, the Immigration Processing Centre is, of course, where so many of our, our guests to Britain uh, go for a longer than desirable game of involuntary hide and seek. You are listening to the bar. from overseas over the years here in Britain. It's quite possible that all these people are just coming here to try to get an appointment with their local doctor. Yes, Andy, certainly someone who came from the expanded arm of the empire when Britain was still reaching out rather than folding in on itself. Most of us just come here to visit our stuff in the museums. Nicely done. 
That'll get people's attention. Let them know someone is standing up to Albion. Light the spark that they can stand up to. If nothing else, it'll relieve their eye strain. What no? You need to steal information about Albion's plans. That'll give us what we need to really put the hurt on their operations. Today, I almost missed this. Break up with a partner. I'm sorry, baby, I love you. Nibbling away on the rotting carcass of a once free Britain. Yum, yum. Hello, Resistance fans. You're listening to the Buck Podcast, the objective voice of objection for this most objectionable world. I am Andy, not my real name, so good luck finding me, Monsieur Bloom. My real name is, in fact, Andrew, uh, and I live in, note this down. A deluded pseudo-reality of my own making, which is in fact the <laughs> most densely populated place on earth these days. Overcrowded, some might say. Joining me, as always, my next door neighbour in these Netherlands of nonsense, it's Alice. Yes, indeed, it is Alice. Alice, who the bleep is Alice? I am not going to tell you that, but <laughs> you can just sort of sense it from the timbre of my voice. <laughs> uh, let's spin the wheel and find out where we're getting today's news from. coming from here. I must get a new wheel with at least one other place on it. And the headline today, Alice, our borders are safe. We can all sleep easy in our well-bordered beds. 4,000 illegals were deported last month. These illegal people breaking the law just by existing. And of course, illegality is contagious. It can osmose through your skin just by standing next to an illegal person. So uh, we've got rid of 4,000 of them. My question for you, Alice, is why only 4,000? Is that really enough? I will not feel safe until at least another 75 million people have been deported from this country and I'm here in Britain on my own. (laughs) As a bleeding heart lefty, Andy, I would normally be outraged about this, but really I think mass deportation is a very handy way to break up with a partner. I'm sorry, baby, I love you, but isn't none of the sorts of reporting you to snow and really loudly in a French way? So everyone out, I'm may accept me. Alex, not even you, this was a good old country. Everyone out, unless <laughs> you can prove that your family are in the background on the Bayer Tapestry, cheering on King Harold at the Battle of Hastings in 1066. Yeah, actually that's not British enough. Unless you can show unaltered that your direct bloodline is unpunched by any Jenkins before the Roman. Unless your direct Albion have established an operational base in the Royal Court of Justice. Now that Albion has control of the courts, they can arrest and prosecute anyone they want to eliminate. You now have to kill someone just to silence them. Exactly. But it likely means there's information here about how Albion are targeting dissenters, the who and the why. We need that data if we're going to disrupt their operation.
What do you have, Buckley? A list of what Albion consider high-value targets that are threats to the peaceful running of London. See here? A journalist. And this one runs a community shelter. Good God, bar your doors. What the fuck? All suspected of sowing rebellion or exhibiting tendencies towards... <laughs> Albion is systematically arresting people even before they rise up. Joke's on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing to help us. Well done. We're already seeing results from what you've done. That list